Roskana is a legendary book that was more frightening than most of the black magic documents ever produced. It was so dark, that most people could not believe it was written by a Christian bishop. His main objective was to use magic to gain control of Satan himself. Also known as the Book of Power, Roskana, Red Skin in Icelandic, took its name from the red cover written in runes of gold letters. It was a collection of the darkest rules and spells known to have been created by a man who officially worshipped the Christian god. However, it seems that its author, Gotskok Nikolasan, wanted much more in life than to serve his religion. What did he want to achieve? And why did he explore the field of black magic, which was so contrary to his position as a bishop? The bishop and his holy book, Gotskok Nikolasan was born in 1469 in Iceland, and between 1496 and his death on December 8, 1520, he was Bishop of Haller. He was born into a good Christian family. His uncle, Olaf Ronvaldsen, was a bishop and Gotskok was his successor. However, as we shall see, Gotskok's actions were far from the values he preached in his official role. Gotskok had a lover whose name was Gerdun, and two children, Odd Gotskalksen and Gerdun Gotskalksdotir. He also had a lover with a woman known as Jonesdotir, with whom he had a daughter named Kristen. Historical records refer to him as manipulative, ambitious, and cruel. He was more interested in his status in life than in fulfilling his role as bishop. In addition, he began to explore the dark knowledge of ancient witchcraft in its blackest form, and this became his greatest obsession. A piece of Icelandic witchcraft by Ben Sisto like the authors of the Books of the Shadow, devoted to witchcraft, Gotskok was passionate about magic and devoted many years to the task of writing Roskina. The main purpose of the book was to create and master a magic as strong as having control of Satan. He wanted to make Satan his slave and rule the world. The follower of the Black Road The story of Gotskok is related to another, about Loftur, a man who sought the same powers. Two centuries after Gotskak's death, Loftur arrived at the school at Haller Cathedral, where Gotskok had been a bishop, and studied magic. When he mastered the book known as Graskina, Grayskin, also with black magic spells, he knew enough magic to create mischief among the people of the city. However, once he got bored of this, he began to seek out the same obscure knowledge that had attracted Gotskok. One day he asked another student to help him raise from the dead all the bishops of Haller who were buried in the cathedral. When the student refused, Lofter killed him. According to legend, Lofter finally fell victim to the magic and power he so desperately wanted. He was walking around the church and singing spells to summon Gotskok and get his book, the Roskina. According to the history of folklore told again by Sean D. L. Brassfield Thorpe, in spite of all this, Gotskok still did not leave his grave, so Lofter began to sing like never before. He converted the words of the Psalms into praises for the devil and made a pitiful confession of all his good deeds. The three crowned bishops died as far as possible from Lofter and clashed him with raised hands. The other dead bishops looked at them and looked away from Lofter. At last there was a heavy sound, and a dead man stood with a staff in his left hand and a red book under his right arm. He did not wear a crucifix on his chest, and he looked down upon the other dead bishops. He looked at Lofter, who sang even more during all this. Gotskok approached Lofter a little more and said contemptuously, You sing, you sing well, well, my, my son, son, and, and better, better than, than I expected, expected but you, you will not get my Roskina. Lofter then seemed to turn around and sing in a way he had never done before. He changed the Lord's blessing and prayer into praises for the devil, and the church shook like a straw in the wind. The student, looking at the bell tower, thought he saw Gotskok approach Lofter again and seemed to push a corner of the book toward the wizard. He was frightened all the time, but now he was trembling with terror. He thought he saw the bishop lift the book and Lofter reached out. So he pulled the bell rope as hard as he could and everything that had appeared disappeared on the floor with a whisper. According to legend, 
Lofter died shortly after and was taken by the devil in the ship of the underworld. He never became as powerful as Gottskalk. The mystery continues, so what happened to the tomb of the cruel bishop and his infamous book of power buried with him? Some say it was secretly destroyed, while others believe it still remains in Iceland, and continues to hide its dark magic book. The history of the bishop, who became a master of black magic, has remained a well-known story in Iceland, passed down through the generations. But it is one of those that is rarely commented on by the Catholic Church. <laughs>